Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this uh, August 6th. Lovely Tuesday for everybody. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Casey, good to see you all. Chuck, John, Bones, good to see you, Mark. Lawrence, everybody, old cyber traders. Hopefully, welcome back, everybody. Hopefully, we'll be, first of all, let me just start off and tell you what a day it was yesterday. Um, you got to watch yesterday's recording. Um, it's on YouTube right now, the one that we did from yesterday's uh, morning meeting. And I was talking a lot about telling you guys, and, and the topic was how did Fausto know how to sell before the crash? You know, what we had yesterday. And, you know, I'm not going to spoil it. You got to watch the video again because what you're getting being part of Cybertrain University is you're getting a you're getting the experience, knowing what to look for. And how do I know that? Because it all starts by being a day trader. You, if you understand what happens over the course of the day, it trickles into a swing trade. And I'll just give you a little crash course on it. After I was telling you yesterday regarding about uh, with President Trump uh, with the tariffs and um, you know when you add that into effect, and then the interest rates that wasn't expected, you know people start thinking, and they you know, and it just it just snowballs, it just snowballs, and then and then all of a sudden you had a counter from China what they did, and then bam, and believe me, I don't know if this thing is over yet. Okay, so you're seeing a little bit of a bounce in the market today, and you know, listen, I I, I I'm just I'm ecstatic that I got out of those positions that I did. I, I lost a little bit, not a lot, but I'm not embarrassed to say it because you know what? I'd rather lost a little what happened last week than be what it, where we're yesterday because honestly, let's say I lost maybe 2% last week of, of on my swing trades. I would probably be down maybe 15%. And let me tell you, it's a lot easier buying it back 15% cheaper than, uh, than, than selling it at 2% loss. And that's where... That's what trading's all about. You got to know how to play the game. And, you know, let me tell you, gold, I mean, all those ETFs, they all did great. A lot of us did awesome. But we're going to talk about those trades and everything. But before we get started, guys, just really quick, I got up there um, on the slides. Just remember, there's a lot of upcoming events coming up. Uh, today, we got Traders Talk uh, every Tuesday, you know, with Josh. And then we got the... Um, you know, uh, open house live trading with Fausto session. Uh, what we're going to do on Thursday, and then remember the Las Vegas event is coming up with Trade with uh, Cause. I'm going to be there, and also the summit in September, the trading summit here at Cyber Trade University. So just make sure you guys took care of that. Always want to kind of always remind you about those events that are coming up. All right, so what do we traded yesterday? Listen, there there were a lot of good stocks out there. Yesterday was the type of day where you just have to trade the market. Um, there were a couple of stocks I know you guys did pretty well on that we found in the room, you know, in, in you know, in, in the shadows. But uh, but let me let me start off with the AMD trade. AMD just literally got decimated yesterday. It was a fun stock, and you know what? <laughs> Wish I still had it from the short that I had when we were doing the phase three yesterday. But uh, but that stock just literally took a big hit. You could see from here from 34 up here, and it just dropped all the way down to 27. It's getting a little bit of a comeback, but let me tell you, you could see that thing just taking, just getting killed. Rumored the CEO Lisa Su is moving to IBM. I think that was part of it. She nodded, but it's very uh, discussed story this morning. That really is what's going on with the rumor uh, regarding by AMD. Listen, there's a lot of stocks that are moving. And we're going to check back. I just want to go over a lot of a few of the big movers yesterday. Uh, GLYC is another one out there that moved pretty nicely. That thing just got crushed, crushed. I, I want to put it on the watch list just to see if it makes a comeback. Because I mean, once again, you know, I'm a bottom fisher. And I'm not just talking about the summer flounders. I'm talking about in the stock market. So anyway, this stock just got destroyed. And you know what? I talked about this one yesterday. And, you know, and, and I want to reiterate what happened as we went on as of yesterday. This stock was $13. You could see it right here, opened up at 9 If you were a day trader, you would have saw that you would have seen the writing on the wall. The next day, stock keeps trending down. You, you you had access to pre-market. Stock got destroyed in pre-market yesterday. We saw the stock go from 950 down to 5 And you could see it keep trending down right there. Let me just zoom in a little bit closer because it's kind of hard to see that. And you know what? 
if you had if you if your brokerage firm allowed you to short it, you made a hell of a short because it ran from even if you shorted at four, you even getting crushed. The trend is your friend. There were orders out there on level four, bam, bam, bam. The thing went all the way down to two o'clock, dropped down to two fifty. I mean, that was like yeah, you had a thousand shares of that stock. A thousand shares on that short. Guess what? You made twenty five hundred. Do that every day. There's your half a million dollar salary, and you didn't need a half a million. You didn't need a, a fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollar brokerage account to do that. Remember, it's a misconception. You don't need a lot of money to do that. That's why everyone loves being here at CyberTrade University. Uh, the ALK, just to kind of bring it up, it was a little expensive, but uh, but that stock with the rumor that was going on, uh, you know, the stock uh, was. It was a great gainer. That thing went up pretty fast. That was pretty good in pre-market. And then obviously, listen, a lot of the ETFs, uh, TVIX is one of them. That thing, you know, it just like took off and now obviously it's tanking because of the market. That one did great. I mean, I, the old ETFs um, did were, were, were fun to trade. I know a lot of you guys did pretty well on all of them. But, uh, but that's, once again, that's what we trade for. Ben just putting the uh, worth watching on the W... K H S. Yeah, you know what? Let me bring up that one there. That stock, you can see it right there, just getting pretty crushed right there. Big big orders out there. Just posted that link right there so you guys could view it, you know, on the level four. So that one looks pretty good also. Stock's taking a nice hit. That one's gonna make the Faust list. Now look, guys, let me tell you what, what we have to focus on today. Today's gonna be a really fun day, okay? But don't get cocky, all right? And what I mean by that is this. We're getting a little bit of a rebound. The market was almost literally almost down a thousand points yesterday. We did come back going into the close about 200 points. We did get a little bit of a bounce. It wasn't as terrible, even though people are looking at it, it was down over 700 points. We were down a hell of a lot more than that. And now we're up about another 200 points. So right now, if you factor in what happened yesterday, we're right around the 500 point technically where we are. But um, there are a lot of stocks that are moving this morning. If you're good with certain stocks that you know you're very familiar with, I know we traded uh, LK. That one's getting a little bit of a bounce back. Um, Uber, you know, listen, this. Let me tell you, thank God we sold that stock. Holy cow, we got really took a little bit of a hit right there. But um, Uber's getting right back to where where we left off, where we could have had it. Where did we sell this thing? We I think we sold it at 45, you know, 44. I mean, we we still had that on a thousand shares of that one. We would have got hit. I mean, a lot of them are moving. You could see it. IQ, Disney. I mean, Disney's coming out earnings. But um, if you're very familiar with certain stocks, go out there and uh, you you know you just know how they trade. Today's probably a good day to do it. And then if there is something that you might want to consider as do as a swing trade, I always recommend is because now you're probably getting a little bit of discount on it. I would just be very careful not going as much as you would probably usually trade, trade a little bit, and then maybe uptick it, you know, the shares if the trend is still going there, all right? And guys, one thing I always tell everyone, it's okay to sell it, okay? Because you could, just like anything else, you could buy it back cheaper, just like Uber. You know what? I lost a little bit on Uber on this one because we had that nice little trend on it, but you know what? From where I bought it and where I can get it now, I might consider buying it. I might consider buying because I'm probably I'm getting at a hell of a discount where, you know, because I'm buying a five, five points lower, five thousand dollars cheaper than what I had it before. All right. Uh, a couple of stocks on the watch. list. So let's start with the GLYC. So GLYC, we already know about this one. This one's getting destroyed, crushed. Uh, this, this is the one that got hammered yesterday. I want to watch it again this morning. Maybe you get a little dead cap bounce on it. But um, with this stock right here, the GL. Um, the GL, let me just put it up here on another, I just want to look at it, my level four on the GLYC, see what I got going on here. All right, just uh, just remember, is it a pharmaceutical stock? Because we know sometimes these things do not come back. L-O-N-C, L-O-N-E, here's another one that's gapped up a little bit nicely, had a nice little half hours trading, kind of backed off a little bit, a little cheapy right here. I-E-A. Another one right here. It's got some really nice orders. You got a 3,000 share seller sitting here at 325. Looks like that's why I pretty much backed off right there at the after hours. But stock has gapped up a little nicely. You can see you got resistance levels here in the long term going into June and July. If it does break those resistance, it could probably test 450. Um, once again, follow the money. 
plug okay i talked about this one early in pre-market you know what this is a perfect stock for you beginner traders that are very new that are free to hit the button you know and if you are a big trader here at ctu you know you could trade 10 20 000 shares of the stock and you won't have a problem getting it out of it but if you are a beginner trader and you want to get your feet wet and don't know what it's like plug is definitely the stock for you to trade APS APPS all right so this one also very nice trending stock it's been a great swing trade in the past uh, few months you can see it's right on 250 stock is already up almost about a hundred percent she had a nice little after hours trading got a little volatile at some some points but um but the spread it, it got me a little nervous on it she's got great orders out there she's got a an 8,000 share seller right there on level three you can see it it's 616 looks like it's probably testing this guy right here that's why I kind of backed off right there in, in the pre markets and also from the after hours of yesterday so I want to see if that guy gets taken out if that does that thing could take off to the races G G-S-K-Y, also found this morning moving in pre-market. Stock's taking a very, very nice hit right there. Um, looks like it's going to be testing some support levels. It had a big support level right around 1050. Looks a little dangerous right now, but um, that one's going to make the watch list. Let me tell you, big list right now. Uh, um, NPTN is another one I found this morning that's moving uh, in the pre-markets. Here's a stock up 15%. Quarter million shares traded, a lot of gorgeous orders out there everywhere, 3,500, 2,500, 5,000. So we definitely got resistance levels right there. Spread looks it looks okay. It's got some really, it's got great volume. So remember, we need volatility to make money. I got two more I want to bring up. T, I mean, it's a lot, guys. We can't trade them all. Listen, we only need some of them. This stock has been taking a very big hit lately. You can see it was a $35 stock at uh, the beginning of the year. It started a little bit of an uptrend right here, up 14%. Uh, not the greatest of orders out there, though. And then I know this is what everybody was looking at in pre-market, too, this morning, was this ACB. Cheap low stock, 1.1 million shares traded. Look at all those orders on level three. So you definitely you got a lot of buying and selling going on. So that one looks pretty good. Uh, Josh is saying that the AMD is moving off support. It is. You know, AMD, listen, took a very, very big hit. Um, it took what? A month, two months to get from 26 to 34. You lost it all in like three days. So listen, you always get a little bit of a, a bounce back. Big, nice iceberg order out there, 50,000 shares at 29. Oh, like we didn't see you there, huh? No wonder. Got to love level three, guys. All right, so we got our orders out there. We got our picks. Anything I'm missing, I did not call out, fellow traders. That's what we found going into pre-market. Uh, we got there. Uh, Ken says, what about the MNK? The MNK, uh, Ken, looking at this stock, once again, took a very, very big hit. It looks like it's a little bit all over the place. Um, it went from 720 down to 640 pre-market. It's coming back up. It's got some crazy volatility. We could put it on the watch list, but I think I'll probably shoot for second protocol. John from the UK, uh, from the UK said uh, the DF. We'll chop. We'll throw that in there. Stock's taking a very huge hit right here. As long as it's, it, it had a nice little rally up here. It looks like it's testing some major support levels. You know, so I don't know. Maybe it doesn't look terrible. I mean, you got 21,000 share buyers sitting there, a buck 15, which is pretty much where we're holding right there. I like it. That's not bad, John. Uh, Micron Technologies from Jerry and, and and Ken also. Listen, this is same. This stock trades side by side with uh, with. Um, with AMD, so I mean, I probably would trade AMD because it's a little bit, a little bit half the price almost. But um, but yeah, listen, they all trade exactly the same, so you could trade them side by side. What about the spies? I don't trade the spies. Uh, people are like, well, I'm probably falling off their chair. Why would I trade the spies at two hundred and eighty-five dollars? Okay, it just literally makes absolutely no sense. And please don't tell me, oh, but you could trade the options. You know what? That's a poor man playing a rich man's game. It's not what we do here. Uh, you know. It's all about risk to reward. Remember, at the end of the day, you're only here for one reason and one reason only. And that's not to tell me tell me to tell you what's moving. It's about you making money and risking the least amount of it uh, with the high amount of reward. And doing it at a $265 stock is obviously not the smart business decision. Remember, you're here. Um, is, it, is it a business decision? It's not an investment decision. Okay, decision. All right, guys. Good luck today. Happy trading, and uh, don't forget a lot of events going on to, uh, coming up this week. Just remember, today we got Traders Talk. 
Then we got open house on Thursday, and then don't forget the big, big events that we're doing. To find out more, we're actually going to do a webinar on with Trade for Cores uh, coming up in two weeks. Going to tell you a little bit more about it. And then we got the Trader Summit. So make sure if you are coming here to our big annual uh, meeting here at CyberTrade University, you got your information regarding hotel information, uh, any food preferences, because just, just always remind everyone, make sure you lose about 10 pounds before you get here, because we do beef you up. It's just a, a typical New Yorker that we are. We love food. All right, guys, good luck. But most importantly, it's all about making money, too. So remember, it's going to be a very fun event. See you guys. Uh, see you for the Traders Talk. All right, guys, good luck, everyone. Happy trading.